Hello. Today I'll be demonstrating how to create a new sales quote. Um, to begin, I'll go to the sales quote page. A list of existing sales quotes will be shown here. And from here, I can also select to create a new entry, which creates a new sales quote. From here, the first things I'd like to draw your attention to are the tabs. We have a general tab, the lines tab, invoice details, and so on. You'll notice the fact box on the right hand side containing customers sales history, as well as details of what's on the uh, line as well. Um, for the time being, we can collapse the fact box pane as we'll not be using this for this demonstration. So for this uh, demonstration sales quote, I'll start by entering our customer details. For this one, we'll be using tray research. Having selected them, it's automatically populated a number of fields. I can also fill in extra detail like the contact that we're dealing with, the due date and the requested delivery date. And I can expand using show more in the top right of this tab here to display more fields. For now, we'll only be using the basic fields. So we'll stick to collapsing that. Moving on to the lines, We'll be using items. However, if you're quoting for services unrelated to items, you can use other types such as GL accounts, resources, fixed assets, and item charges. I'll select item for the time being. And uh, for this scenario, our customer would like the item 1900S. And the customer would like 10 of these chairs. I'll also insert another line as our customer would also like the item 2000S at a quantity of five. You can also specify further details like the line discount percentage and beneath the lines you can see there are some totaling fields, discussing and totaling the amounts with and without VAT. Business Central has a native functionality that allows you to send documents. We can do this by going to print and send and then selecting send by email, which will send the quote as a PDF to our customer. The other options available from this area are attach as PDF and print. Printing allows us to open a new window where we can select how we expect to print our document. For now, I'll elect just to preview this to show you how it looks. And here we have our completed sales quote. You can download the PDF if you wish, or you can close this off and continue on working with the quote. The attaches PDF function generates a PDF of the quote, much like we saw in the preview. And if we reopen the fact box under attachments, you can see our documents have increased to one. Clicking here will show us all of the currently attached documents. But in this case, our sales quote, which is now downloaded. If the customer is satisfied with our quote, we can move on to the next step, which is converting the quote to an order. Clicking process shows us two options for conversion. We'll be looking at making an order in this instance. However, if you're quoting, for example, for services, you may want to skip directly to the invoice. For now, let's click Make Order. We'll be asked to confirm our action, then if we would like to see the newly created order. Before I do this, I'll point out that our sales quote was numbered S quo 1003, and the newly created sales order is labeled S ord 101005. This is thanks to the default setup in Cronus has sales quotes and sales orders using different numbering systems. And this is demonstrated with the conversion to the order. Now that we've created our order, I'd like to draw your attention to a warning at the top of the order. The warning is telling us that our available inventory for one of the items is lower than what we're intending to sell. We did not see this earlier as a quote does not look at existing stock. This is because at the time of quoting, we're unsure if the customer will accept the quote.